Uh, my name's Daniel. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm from Texas. Thank you. I know. Bang, bang. I know. <laughs> Controversial. Oh, my God. I know. Let's see. What else about me? I'm in the closet. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else about me? Oh, yeah. And I'm STD free. Thank you. I know. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> Phew. Oh, my God. Never have sex in New Orleans. Never, never, never. Oh. And, and I know I'm STD free because I went to the doctor. And I hate the doctor. You know what I mean? You know, do you drink? Yes. You know, do you exercise? No. You know, do you do drugs? Yes. I, yes. You know, I hate the doctor. Of course, it was the sexiest doctor I've ever had. You know what I mean? It's like you go with the doctor for something like that. And he was this like beautiful Latin man, you know, just chiseled and made of mud. You know, he had like had an accent like Dracula. You know, he's just, you know, tell me more about your gonorrhea. I was like, oh, this is so embarrassing. I hate it. My God, I hate it. Uh, but no, I love that. It's like, I don't know. It's one of those, uh, thank God. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, I'm from Texas. Nice to see you. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, I mean, I live in Los Angeles, but I'm from Texas. You know what I mean? It's like, and I miss Texas because it's super friendly down there. You know what I mean? It's like, you can go to the grocery store, chat up some old woman who's going to vote against me every possible way, you know? <laughs> but that old lady's still going to call me darling. And like, you know, I need that. You know, I need that in my life just because it's like, you know, you go to Los Angeles, you try to chat up somebody at the grocery store there and you are a serial killer, you know? I mean, it certainly doesn't help if you already look like Charles Manson's gay twin brother. <laughs> they always made me wait in the car. <laughs> you know, that's, that's me. That's me. My God. I do. I love Los Angeles. Los Angeles is one of my favorite because everybody's fucking beautiful there. You know what I mean? They're just like stunning. Like one of my friends is this like six foot five swimmer from Illinois, right? He's like, yeah, in Chicago, I'm like a 10. But in LA, I'm like a six. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> In Texas, I'm like a three, you know what I mean? It's just like, sort of crazy that what the fuck am I in Los Angeles? And it turns out in California, I'm just, I'm not even a number. I'm just a, a sad emoji face, you know? It's awful. I mean, everybody in Los Angeles is stunning, you know what I mean? They're just like gorgeous, gorgeous people. And I just don't work out, you know what I mean? It's like people that run for exercise, they look stupid, you know? And it's like, you know, has anybody ever been to CrossFit? Those people are insane. It's, every cross is like, tie this sectional couch to your back and drag it down the street. It's like, I can't. <laughs> I just shit my pants. <laughs> we all just shit our pants. You know, so you all complain. It was like, I left CrossFit and went straight to Wendy's. I was just there, you know what I mean? It's just like green, like green. I love Wendy's. Don't you love Wendy's? I love Wendy's. I have, I have a lot of bad luck there, though. You know, like I went to Wendy's, I pulled right up to the drive through and I said, I'll have a spicy chicken sandwich with the unsweet nice tea, biggie size. <laughs> and I said, um, hello? And they were closed. It's like... <laughs> Y'all, there's nothing sadder than barking out an angry order at an empty Wendy's, you know? It's like, my God. I was there one time I went to Wendy's and I pulled up to the drive-thru and I gave my, the, my debit card to the lady and she gave me my Frosty and then I waited for the rest of my food to be prepared and then she gave me back my debit card and said, I'm sorry, so your card's been declined. And I looked at the Frosty she'd already handed me and I drove away! I said, ah! My God. I said, don't worry. I went home and ordered pizza. Don't worry. I... And I paid cash for it because I'm common. And number one, the pizza guy totally, he like caught me peeking out the window, like somebody stood my ass up on prom night. And so, you know, I live alone, you know? I live alone. So every time I order pizza, I always turn into my empty apartment. I always go, the pizza's here, you know? And then I eat it.